Brian Daly, Day of the Life of the Brewers, Scorpion Brewing Company in Owings, Maryland. Today, the problem we're trying to solve is that our fermenting tanks here have a chiller attached to them. And when we try to crash this tank, which is what's called the bright beer tank, it needs to go down to a colder temperature than the other tanks. What's happening is that our other tanks that are trying to hold temperature for fermentation, that needs to hold steady around 68 degrees, they start crashing down as well. So we think we have a backflow problem from our return line. We've just redid our supply and return lines, and we believe that's the root of the problem. I'm gonna show you what we're doing to fix that right now. So the way the glycol system works is the supply line pumps propylene glycol, a chilling material, in through the tanks. You see that solenoid, the black piece on top of the pipe there, is a solenoid that will open and close with a brain of the computer back in the back that tells it to open and close based on the temperature of the tank. Then flows into the tank, out of the tank, back to a return line, and back to the pump for the chiller. So the problem we think we're running into is these return lines have a tendency to get an air bubble in them. And that air bubble allows liquid flowing back through the return line to go back into the jacket of these tanks and chill down the beer inside. So we're gonna put a check valve in these lines today. We have a piece of one inch PVC pipe. We have a check valve and two one inch slip to one inch connectors for the soft line and I'm gonna cut some of this PVC pipe with a hacksaw, a piece to fit in between here and here, and a piece between here and there. And we'll have a check valve that can easily be inserted into our line, allowing no backflow to happen. Connecting PVC pipe is fairly easy. You take the two parts that you wanna connect, you first use a purple primer, You prime the part you want to use. See how it turned purple inside, it's nice and primed. A primer on that, you then put primer on the other end that's going in. The end, then add the cement. So just circle around with cement. Add cement to the other side of the fitting and simply push, twist and hold. Hold it for about a minute, and voila, you'll have a joint that's connected well. There we have it. All the parts are now glued together and ready to be installed. Check valves are in, and water is flowing. We actually don't have propylene glycol on this right now. We have water since we're working on the system. But yeah, so we are now flowing, no leaks, making it so when we turn it off, it should hold all the liquid in these return lines. You can see how liquid is flowing through these tanks even though the solenoid is closed because they don't have a valve installed. Thanks for watching. Remember to click like and subscribe. Till next time, cheers.